Anyway, let's find... Uh, what do you want? Roses. I'm not talking to you. Come. Oh, well, leaving without you then. Bye! Okay. Hey! Hey! Ooh. Huh. Look at all the graffiti. Ugh. All right. They should be right over there in the park. They grow in the corner. Can't miss them. They're gorgeous, Bambina. Mm -hmm. The gardener here takes really good care of the flowers. That's good for us. What? What do you mean we shouldn't? Mm -hmm. Vandalism? What do you mean, vandalism? Bambina! Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Roses exist so they can be picked up and offered to mesmerizing princesses. Mm -hmm. Don't you think she deserves it? Don't you? Okay, enough with this nonsense. Just go in that park and pick up the roses. Mm -hmm. Look, we only need enough for a romantic bouquet. And you can be as delicate as you want while picking them up. Alright, go now. Mm -hmm. Go! I hate him so much. Yay, we're here, Oxbury. So, we're gonna see Jeanneveur. And see what she has to say about everything. Oh, sorry. I wonder what... Um, no, that's not what I want. I wonder what she's like. So, Oxbury. At her house. Indiscreet meeting. Request completed, I have my doubts. Oh no. I didn't want to hug the cat, but that's good. Astrid? Astrid! Astrid! Where are you even? Are you already in Oxbury shouting? Oh, I can't see her, so I guess they both went offshore already. Okay, right. Well, I am going to... Tend my garden again! Why not put a carrot in there? Delicious. Ooh, linen, yes. Let's get some linen. Daffodil, yeah. I wish my cat was like daffodil. He's just an arsehole. Well, let's see the fight then. Oh, sheepy. I don't want to talk to you. I want to find Giovanni. Back to you later, okay? Oh, oh, oh! 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 Oh, we can go up the buildings there. And I definitely want to go there. Locked. Hmm. So what does that mean? Oh yeah, he wanted the smithy from here, right? Um, yeah, find the woodworker's partner in a cafe in Oxford. Okay. In a cafe. Well, this is not a cafe. Uh, I'm not gonna destroy these trees uh, until, um, you know, we've done- Oh, What's this? Can we do it? 
Jump higher! Don't crash on me. Don't crash on me, PCM. I swear to God. Oh, press X to jump higher on bouncy services. Yes, that's what we want, baby. He's up there. Hello. Ooh, leave us alone. We'll be getting busy soon. Oh, really? Oh, really? I can't talk to him? Oh, rubbish. something you're looking for someone a famous woodworker oh sure of course you're talking about my boyfriend uh or should i say ex-boyfriend i kicked him out of my house call it disagreement we haven't talked in a while so i'm not sure where he should be but knowing him he's probably just hanging around in a park somewhere i know he has a favorite spot somewhere in amberton ambertown park he was never much of a doer that's where we gotta go. See y'all losers later. <laughs> Amber Town. So that's where we're going now. Okay, Giovanni, you can suck my dick. So where's Amber Town? Where would it be? Oh, here? No, this obscure canopy. Can we even go there? Oh yeah, we have a rock crusher. Oh no, I don't know what that one is actually. Is this ice or rock? That is rock. So what's this? Oh, there's one way to find out. Bye! Mail? Uh oh. From Albert! The <laughs> stuff? stuff oh <laughs> I've had enough I thought I was stronger than that but obviously I was wrong I can't tolerate that any longer okay. he's driving me up the walls he's following me everywhere he talks and talks and talks mm -hmm. and I know he lies all the time everything he says is a blatant lie mm -hmm. what did you find out there was he cheating on me tell me <laughs> yes I knew it I knew it Thank you for telling me the truth, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I knew I could count on you. It warms my heart to know that I can trust in someone. Now please, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see his face anymore. He's out! Mm -hmm. Out of my house! Out of my hair! Loose lips. <laughs> well, you know... So we can't go this way because of mist? Oh, do you want food? Uh, how about an apple? Mm -hmm. Oh, can I hug you now? There you go. I got you back, sister. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ambertown Park! Yes, Lily! Thank you! I totally forgot. Of course it is. I'm murdering trees. Shall we murder some more trees? See what happens. Right. Um, Giovanni, where is he? I want to kick him out. No, I don't have time for you right now. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, I, I don't get mm -hmm. it. Oh. Things were going so well. I don't deserve to be treated this way. You're Astrid. She's got such an ill temper. Mm -hmm. What will I do now? I'll go, I suppose. But where? Mm -hmm. Over there by Alto's workshop? No, too chilly. Up to Alice's cottage, maybe? Mm -hmm. Nah, that won't cut it. Alright, I'll think about it. See you around, Bambina. Can we just fucking kill him? Okay, fine. Ambertown, of 
course, uh, Ambertown Park, of course it is where we were killing trees. Um, which is all the way over here. Yes. Ugh, such a numpty. Right, uh, we'll go to these crates again. Yes! <laughs> I, I don't know if I was I don't know why, but it hurts to see him go. I didn't think it would, mm -hmm. but here we are. Anyway, it was the right thing to do. Thank you for your help, Stella. Mm -hmm. Now I... I need some time. I need to be alone and by myself and think for a little mm -hmm. while, I think. Thank you, Munchkin. Thank you for being there by my side. Right, she's gonna go. Because that's what they do. They retreat and then they want to go to the Avador. Look how smug he is. Fucking asshole. I hope you go to hell. That's crate time. That's always get so happy when... Oh yeah, you're afraid chicken, I know. I've got some fucking wheat already. Nice. What did I get? Sugar cane! Nice. We can make some sugar. Oh. No, I'm no, I'm not done. It's really hard to get those. You must have noticed it by now, but I'm not exactly welcome at Astra's house anymore. <laughs> what can I say? It's not my fault that I'm irresistible. I was born this way. The ladies like me. What can I do? <laughs> Stella's face. That's how, what we all feel. Leave them alone? That'd be terribly rude of me. Ah, okay, okay. You don't need to give me that look. I get it, you know. I probably would have done the same. Okay, maybe not exactly the same, but yeah. I know, I know. Hey, you know what? Her loss. I won't come crawling. I'm above this type of behavior. That being said, the deck is a bit frisky at night though. And I miss having at least a sofa to rest on. What to do? Think, Giovanni, think. Mm, maybe... Hey, Bambina, could I ask you a favor? Just a teensy weensy little thing for your favorite Giovanni. I need a place to rest now. Oh, you know what? A nice lounge would be swell. Yes, a lounge. A funky space at the crossroads between a bar and a den. A place where we could all unwind, have a fun time, you know. And I could even sleep in there. Come on, do it for me, will you? I'll be on the tab for it. Thank you, Bambina. Thank you. want him to die the most painful death in existence. Yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, Munchkin, I feel so foolish, so naive. Why did I think I, he could change? Mm -hmm. How could I hope he would have been any different? This lying, cheating scumbag. Mm -hmm. And you? How could you do this to me? Why did you feel the need to tell me the truth? Mm -hmm. Don't you think some things are better left untold? Some secrets deserve to stay unspoken. I'm so mad at you. Mm -hmm. Look, I know you believe you did the right thing. But things are not that simple. Mm -hmm. It's not always a matter of honesty versus duplicity. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll take some time alone now. I'll see you later, Stella. Oh, fuck you, Astrid. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Everybody can go fucking suck my chode. Okay. Why are you doing this? Don't you have respect for all things, all things live, uh, all things living? God. So he's gonna follow me, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. I need to find someone in the park. Whoa! Atto's losing his shit. Oh. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just. Uh, oh wait, I don't know you. What is it? A woodworker, you say? Why, yes, of course, you were looking for me. Oh. I'm just, uh, taking a stroll, yes, enjoying nature. Refueling my creative battery, so to speak. So you were looking for my genius, I presume. What is it that you need? Oh. A working desk? Oh yes, fantastic. Sure I can do that. 
Okay, this is your chance. Don't mess it up. Just breathe. So, um, yes, about mm -hmm. that. My creative batteries are full, sure. But all this nature and this walking and this, um, contemplating... Well, it depleted my physical batteries. Mm. Just before I can't even start thinking about your commission. Well, I need some food. You know, mind and body and all mm. that. And well, for an artist of my caliber... Or caliber, I should say. I always want to say it in the original language. Caliber. Caliber. Not just anything will do. I need you to bring me an exquisite um, surf and turf. Yes, that'll do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, uh, no. Why did I pick such an expensive meal? What if she thinks I'm not worth it? Should I change my mind? No. No, too late then. Mm -hmm. I'm just so sick of eating blueberries. Well, what are you waiting for? Bring me a surf and mm -hmm. turf. Or anything else, please. I'm starving. I will talk about the commission. Actually, I can make you a surf and turf. Does that... Yeah, I have... Uh... Can I get out, please? I have prawns and I have steak. So I can do that. What is it, good stuff? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why are you so fucking adorable, Goosty? Uh -huh. you like this? Oh, sorry, but sorry, my darling, my darling, you're also fucking picky. Uh -huh. Right. Would you also like some food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, thank you. It's great. I need shrimp actually. Um, would you like uh -huh. mussels? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Right, so we need steak. We can make a few steaks. No prawns? Yeah. Oh, we only have one? Uh, let's just cook it, see what happens. Oh, the steak's gonna take that long. That would be the fucking toughest steak in history. Wow. Rubber, rubber steak and rubber prawns. I would like for the wheat to grow, please. More wheat, please. My apple needs fried chicken. Fried chicken, you say? Yes, fried chicken. Shall we pop in here? More potatoes, more potatoes, and more potatoes. In reality, potatoes would take like at least, I don't know, a month? Longer than that? Would you like to be a wolfish? There you go. <laughs> what is it, my love? Uh -huh. Aww, gift from his collection. But it's not though, but I really appreciate them because I can sell them. Thank you, Gustav, lovely. You're so cute. No clam. Give me the clams. Okay. Oh, you're very hungry. I'm sorry, sheepy. Just waiting for my surf and turf. I feel like an apple. Do you like an apple? I have hundreds of them. I suddenly got paranoid about the sound again. I should always be paranoid about it. Okay. I am waiting for my dinner to be done. My din din is steak is so long. This steak is gonna be so gross. Now, uh, what can I do in the meantime? <laughs> Kick your bunny out? Um, let's make some cotton. Let's lose some cotton. It's really hard to hit that one. It's such a small 
Hey. Hey. Oh, damn it. Yeah, oh, well. Still got me 19. Dinner ready yet? Yes. Food? Oh! What is it? Oh, the crusher. Yeah, I know. What do you want? <laughs> oh, do we care what he thinks? Hey, have I told you about that time I was up on the coast right before the end of the war? Me and the other boys, we were waiting on an evacuation convoy after a long night of skirmishes. We had been slowly but steadily going through the occupied villages of the lower mountains as the enemy re retreated. I had joined a more regular corps since most of the resistance fighters uh, could now be out in the open. So there, there we were, 20 something boys aged 17 to 25, all of us tired but happy at the same time. We were winning, you know. Mm -hmm. We decided to stop for the night in a little village that overlooked the coast. At night, one of the mamas comes, out, comes to us with a gigantic cauldron full of pasta with tomato sauce. Most of us hadn't seen tomato sauce in years! Mm -hmm. at, the time, at the same time, we hear Marius, our youngest combatant, rushing in towards us yelling, Leave me some guys! It smells so good! He had been on scouting duty that night to check if there was anything fishy going on. And as he runs towards us, maybe 40 meters from where we were, we hear, we hear a very loud explosion and see a big puff of smoke. Mm -hmm. A landmine. They were not that frequent, but it happened nonetheless. Most of us ran towards him, but I was first there. Mm -hmm. I'll spare you the details, but it was obvious he couldn't make it. As I, ho as I hold him in my arms, covered in blood, he weakly opens his mouth and tells me, Damn, Giovanni, I can't believe I won't eat this. No one gets my share, okay? Mm -hmm. And those were his last words. That moment will forever be imprinted in my memory. It will always remind me of that life that has to be lived for the simplest of things. A nice dish, a beautiful landscape, a gorgeous lady. Yep, that's what life is lived for. Don't use that as an excuse for being a fucking... whore. <laughs> that is not... not serving the, the memory of your lost... friend. Alright, we got the surf and turf. There you are. Hmm. Is my surf and turf ready? Yep. What? Really? Right on! Best day ever! Um, I mean, yes, yeah, satisfactory. Mm -hmm. And now for your little submission. I have very good ideas, fantastic ideas, but we still haven't discussed my feet. Mm -hmm. Now this is absolutely non-negotiable. I will need 450,000 glimps and that's the friend's prize. For an artist of my talent, it would be blasphemous as anything mm -hmm. less. And then, we'll be close again. And you'll see just how well I can do it on my own. And you'll know that I'm not just a lazy slob. And you'll fall in love with me all over again. Mm -hmm. I can't believe my plan is going so well, unless... And, um, just one last thing, but of the utmost importance. Oh. I have a strict rule against mixing my professional and romantic life. So under no circumstances should you tell my partner in Oxbury about our dealings. You understand? Oh. No. Circumstances. Okay, we're going back to Oxbury. Back to Oxbury. Oh. Hmm. Ow! Oh, you woke me up! Your room is itchy. I don't like to sleep in here. Where should I sleep? The guest house? Yes! I could make it. Stanley's room. I get it. 
Thanks, big hat. <laughs> right. That's why they were so annoyed. Right, we're going to the bus stop. What about you? Do you like lemonade? Of course you do. It's sweet, refreshing, and healthy. <laughs> it's also freshly squeezed. Pure lemons, pure lemonade goodness. That brings me to my proposition. <laughs> Are you interested in a summer job of sorts? Hear me out. For this business to thrive, we need more lemons. The demand in the city is just too high. There's this delivery man in South Point Docks. <laughs> He's got my shipment of lemons. So fresh. You could hear the freshness from here. Problem is, the shipment has been stopped by customs. If you could go there and take them for me, well, you'd be a lifesaver. Literally. Hurry, we need to meet this demand. I just love lemons so much. Ride the lemon dragon. Uh, I, I'm... Okay. Hi. <laughs> Who's this douche though? Did you speak to him already? Found him yet? What? How much? 450,000 glims? Seriously, what a hack. That's way above what he normally charges. Where did he even get that num- Oh, I understand now. The apartment next to mine is currently on the market. The asking price is 450,000 glims, non-negotiable. Very subtle, man. Also very creepy. You know what? I can't just let him fend for himself. He's so helpless. It's only been three days, and he's already started conning innocent bystanders. Besides, I was already planning on letting him move back in. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Just tell him he can come back, okay? But make sure he understands. From now on, he has to do some of the chores. I can't just do everything for him. I'm not his mom. No, nobody likes a partner that treats you like their mom. It's, it's like one of the biggest... If you have a partner... Of course, I'm saying this if you're able and, you know, you can do these things. If you have a partner, an able partner that just lets you do everything for them, that's such a... Ugh. Don't want an adult baby. <laughs> Grace is on the Atoll train today. I wonder if Atoll likes lemons. But now we're going back to the bus stop and go back to the woodworker. And who wants my love and attention? Is that Gustav, my beautiful slender man? Oh. Yeah? <laughs> oh, it's you! Look, big hat! I did what you told me! This guest house is now Stanley's room, but it's not entirely ready yet. I still need to find a bunch of stuff to make it nice. Oh. Wanna help? Oh. Well, could you? <laughs> that would be great. I need some linen fabric. I'm making something. I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. I have linen fabric. You can have all the linen fabric you want, little one. Oh, Stanley, you're so cute. I didn't know you needed to go there. <laughs> oh! It's the soft kind! Thank you so much, big hat. You're the best. I can't believe I'm on the ship. I heard a seagull earlier, I think. That's so cool. Well, I think. Might have been a pigeon or my stomach rumbling. But if it was, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, Stanley's room. All right, so he has his own space now. I thought it was good stuff because he's also red. Hello! I got planks! Oh, well, bed and crabs. Oh, two ash planks, thank you. <gasps> Are they ready? Are they ready? Yes! We've got wheat! Oh, I can finally make flour, baby! What about the other wheat? Is that done yet? Oh, I don't have any more? Right, let's make flour. Where's the windmill? Where's everything? Hope he never leaves, he's so dang cute. I know. <laughs> and the ones that we don't like are still there. <laughs> Wheat! How many can I make? Five. Okay. Let's do it. Do I need to be traveling? Nope. 
So I think it stays in place because we're in place, but when we're traveling, it's harder. So this should do it. Can I get out? Oh, didn't show. Didn't show that I could get 